Although most people lie, most people also feel hurt when they find out about the lies of others. Of course, yes. <laughs> Why does this happen? Perhaps it's not of course. Why does this happen? <laughs> well, inbuilt in our soul is this affinity to truth. There is this feeling inside of the majority of people that as far as it affects their own absorption of experience, that they would like to have truth told to them. And when we're lied to, we often become very hurt as a result. The, the hurt, of course, is not because of the truth that is now exposed, right? But it is because the lie has been exposed. And, it, and it's a betrayal of truth that we're feeling. And there is this quality or attribute of our own existence of the human soul that we want to hear the truth at some level. And in fact, even the most accomplished liar becomes very, very upset when they're lied to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is an indication of their own hypocrisy in the end. But they are very afraid of having lies told to them. Now, the reason why we are afraid of having lies told to us and then having them exposed is because in the end we do have at the core of our existence an understanding that lies result in a more difficult existence. That false or error, anything that's false or in error, will mean that we'll have more pain and suffering in our future once it's exposed. And, and so the majority of us know at some level that the right thing to do is to focus on telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Now we know that because of the personal pain we experience when somebody doesn't tell us the truth. That's how we know it. So we can see that when somebody doesn't tell us the truth and we find out we feel hurt and we feel pain as a result, which is the direct result of the error being exposed. So let's just let's just break that down a little bit because mm -hmm. you said a lot of exposed and a lot of error and a mm -hmm. lot of truth and a lot of lies and it you <laughs> know can yeah. get very you need to be very intellectually engaged with what you just said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, the the the, uh, the thing I find interesting about all these conversations is most people find it difficult to follow them, not because they are incapable of intellectual engagement. It's because they are incap not capable of logically, emotionally, emotional understanding. And the reason why they're not is because they have internal emotional justification for the error that exists within them. And as a result, they are resistive to hearing a truth, which means that you're not open logically. Logically, you'll find it difficult to understand things. When we, when we have an emotional investment in avoiding something, exactly. this makes us illogical or it, it creates an investment in, uh, in discarding our of, logic. In our own lack of logic, yes, yes, yes it does. Yes. Yes. But just to, just to be clear about the cause of pain, mm -hmm. when, when somebody lies, say you lied to me, yep. and then I discovered the lie, mm -hmm. you're saying to me that the pain is not... Because the truth. I now know the truth. No. Say you said, I'm wearing red socks today and I discovered you're wearing blue socks. Yeah. And then uh, the pain wouldn't be that you're wearing red socks. No. It's be that you told me you were wearing blue instead of red. In other words, I lied to you, which but is a betrayal. So, so the, the pain, pain is a result of betrayal. Is a result of betrayal, a feeling, an emotion. Yet I might be lying to you uh, every minute of every day, mm -hmm. but when I discover you lied to me, I feel pain. Mm. So this is That's because... hypocrisy. <laughs> yes. And basically this question is saying that just about everyone's a hypocrite because most people lie and most people feel sadness when they discover others yeah. have lied. Yeah, and this is an indication of the lack of ethics that exists on the planet. If we were ethically motivated, we would understand that if I lie regularly in my, day, in my life then it would make sense that everyone around me probably is doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And also, ethically, if I allow myself to lie, then surely, ethically, I should also allow everyone else to lie to me. Now, the fact that I don't means that I'm unethical. Mm -hmm. if, if I am willing to allow myself to get away with a lie, while at the same time want the lies of others to be punished, then I'm unethical. 
and therefore I'm not in harmony with truth at all. I either need to choose what I want to do. Do I want to tell the truth myself and therefore I can ethically expect anybody else around me to tell the truth from a pure point of ethics? By the way, once, uh, once I know the truth, I won't expect everyone around me to tell the truth because I'll know when they're lying <laughs> and I'll know why they're lying and I'll understand the underlying emo emotional motivations for their lies. I'll understand all of it. And so therefore I won't believe everything I hear automatically because I'll be sensitive to all of those things once I am in connection with the truth myself. But I would not allow myself to lie knowing that it could harm another person. Allowing yourself to lie is like turning off a light in a room. Everyone's going to trip over all the things in the room after yeah. that point. Yeah. Sooner or later, that's what happens. When we allow ourselves to tell the truth on all occasions, it's like turning on the light in a room. Everyone now can see what the problem is and therefore has the ability and chance to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So basically you're saying we hurt... We often lie, but we feel hurt when others lie. And that's because, one, our souls are designed to be more attuned with truth. Yes. And presumably, we lie because we just want to avoid some pain that the truth might expose. Yes, and that's the sad thing, is we sort of see the truth as being the cause of the pain. But it's not the truth that's the cause of the pain. For example, if, if, if somebody told you the truth, uh, your husband doesn't cheat on you, and that was the truth, wouldn't you be happy about that? <laughs> of course you'd be happy about that, right? But if somebody told you the truth, your husband doesn't cheat on you, and, and later on you found out that he did, and that they knew yes. he did, you'd be very, very hurt, would you not? So, so the reality is most of the time we justify the lie not under, as, a, as a way of avoiding pain, but it doesn't avoid pain. It doesn't. It's only the truth that allows us to avoid pain if we live in harmony with it. Mm -hmm. When we live out of harmony with it, then of course it causes pain. Right? But it's only the truth that it can allow us to live in harmony with the truth and therefore have freedom without pain. So I feel that there's a big misunderstanding on the planet about, you know, there's this whole thing, you know, the truth hurts. No, lies hurt. <laughs> truth doesn't hurt. And, and I suppose there's that, um, that other thing that perhaps we haven't fully explained is that pain already exists within us mm. and our investment in lying comes from wanting to avoid that pain. Yes, yeah, the protection and, of, of our own pain that already exists. Yeah, so yeah. It's, the truth is only, as you said, shining a light on something that's already there. Yes, and God's truth is going to shine the biggest light. <laughs> It's, so, the, it's the floodlight. It's yeah. the, like a floodlight. It's like the light of, whole, of day, the sun, you know, <laughs> yeah. being shown on the problem. And that's the beauty of it, is it shows you everything, the things that you can correct, but also the things that are good. So it shows you everything. And that's why we need to have a much stronger love of it than, than we do on the planet at the moment. And if we look at our own individual lives, the majority of, of us are still afraid of receiving truth. You know, there's a difference between being attacked and receiving truth, um, obviously. Yeah. You know, if a person is just attacking us and telling us that we look bad and all of this, that's not being truthful at all. The truth is they're angry, you know, and, and, and bitter us. and want to hurt yeah, us. That's yeah. the truth. But uh, when, when we're a person is sincerely interested in truth, it can help our life immensely, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 